Not entirely, Steve. I think uh, Alibaba's been uh, very open in, in, in how it makes its money. I mean, if you dig into the earnings reports, uh, you look into uh, where the money's coming from. Core com commerce accounts for nearly 90% of the revenues. That includes, um, you know, some uh, its key platforms like Tmall and Taobao here in China. And then, of course, on the other side, you've got it uh, releasing reports uh, and revenues around its cloud business uh, and other growing parts of the company uh, as well. I guess some of the more opaque areas potentially is is where they're putting their money into. Uh, is it going? How much is going into content on their video streaming platform? How much are they burning through for their uh, food delivery business, which is called Ulama, uh, here in China, which faces extremely stiff competition. So on those points, I guess there could be a, a little bit more clarity. But I think what investors are going to be looking for today is uh, some uh, strong growth in the core commerce business, because that really does account still for the majority of the revenues. Any slowdown here in domestic demand could impact um, that as well. But they're also hoping to see continued rapid growth, plus 80%, maybe even 90% growth in that cloud business, which is a very small part of Alibaba's overall business, but it is continuing to, to grow rapidly. I think one area of concern really for investors could be the level of spending. Alibaba hit record spending in 2018, and in this kind of environment, will that continue and will investors continue to stomach that? So those are going to be the things I think the market will be watching for today. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.